Hey there, and welcome back to another Studio Series Gamer Edition figure analysis. We got a new reveal at San Diego Comic Con. War for Cybertron, Voyager, Ratchet. Sorry this video is a bit late. I was waiting for the official stock images to release, and some things came up. But I am ready to cover him now, so let's get in there and check him out. So here we are, starting at robot mode. Initial impressions are, he looks pretty good. He comes with an Energon Repair Ray and an Axe, so pretty much what you would expect in regards to accessories. But how does he compare to the in-game model itself? Let's see. Oh. Wow. First impressions? This looks really darn good! Holy moly. Like, the proportions seem to be pretty much on point here. Model-wise, this thing looks really good. Okay. So far, I'm impressed. Let's go through each section and see if there are any anomalies. Starting up at the head, it looks to be pretty on point. His main head is red, with the crest being white. He's got his eyes colored. Might be missing a little bit of energon glow on his face and head, but nothing too bad. It's difficult to judge his colors in this lighting, so I won't make that call just yet. But maybe the red could have been a bit darker. Maybe the white could have been a bit grayer. But I won't judge it so harshly at this point. Moving on to the chest. He's got the gray window, red Autobot insignia, some Energon veins in the center with those red ribs. That's an impressive touch. Wasn't sure they'd get that. Okay, chest looks pretty good. A little bit drab, but otherwise good. Looking at these shoulders, he's got his iconic medic logo, which is good. He does seem to be missing a little bit of red paint on the top of his shoulder there. And I, maybe you could have grayed out that cross on the side too. It's a little bit drab looking, but otherwise the proportions look pretty good. Though his arm up section looks like it's missing that big plate section that he has. Because he's got like a big sheet of armor there that I'm not seeing here. But again, not a huge deal breaker, so I won't linger on that any longer. Then we got the arms, which again look pretty good. I wouldn't have minded a little bit of gray in that little indentation near the hand, but otherwise, I can't complain. Looks pretty good. His hand is fully red, so they got that right. He's also got the wheel on the arm, so the arm looks pretty solid. The Energon Repair Ray is, again, a bit drab with the paint, but otherwise, uh, I can't really complain. Moving down to the legs, it looks pretty good. Might be missing a little bit of Energon paint around the hips but nothing too significant. He's got the red knee joint, and that red little pattern on the front of the knee, so that's good. He's got stubby little feet, but they emulate what you see from the picture pretty darn well, so I'm not even going to complain. And they do have the wheels on the sides of the legs too. Okay, wow. Yeah, this looks really good. Mold-wise, the paint apps might be a little bit drab, but mold-wise, holy mackerel, this thing looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. This might be the first Studio Series Gamer Edition figure I buy. He does have a bit of a backpack, but you know, that kibble has got to go somewhere. And considering how good the rest of him looks, I'm not even going to complain. Okay, so far so good. Let's check out alt mode. Here we got alt mode, and wow. That looks almost just as good as robot mode. Holy mackerel. This is... wow. That is impressive for both modes to look this good. Wow. Okay. Um, let's go for specifics here. Starting up at the front, his front windshield is pretty good. There is a slight indentation near the top that he doesn't have, but that just might be part of the transformation, so I won't worry about that. He's got the Autobot insignia on the hood. He's got some Energon veins on the front with that front padding there, which I think they could have done in a darker color. But again, not a huge deal breaker. He's missing a little bit of Energon paint near the front, mainly in those front headlight sections. He's got a little bit of Energon on the wheels. I don't think they got the deco exactly right, but I think that's pretty darn good for what they do have. He is missing the red Energon in his right window, though his medic logo might be placed a little too far from where it should be. Looks like it should be back more near that rear fender, maybe a little higher too. Again, not a huge deal, just something I noticed. The roof looks like it might be a bit off. So it does have the red on the front, but it looks like there's a gray section they didn't paint that's right below the axe. 
and the back of the roof isn't painted quite right either. Looks like there should be some red there. But again, none of these are necessarily a deal breaker or anything. Just some slight inconsistencies. Yeah, all in all, for what it's worth, this figure looks really darn good. Like, really good. I'm seriously thinking of picking this thing up when it gets to a decent enough price. Okay, so yeah, I think Ratchet is one of the highlights of this entire line. This thing looks great. A little bit drab on the paint apps, but overall, I think this thing looks fantastic. And yeah, when we get the inevitable retool of Ironhide, I'll bet that thing will look just as good. Since Ironhide and Ratchet are pretty much the same body, just with like a different chest, head, and shoulders, more or less, Ironhide is gonna look just as good, so... I am definitely considering picking this guy up. Nice job, Hasbro. You did good with this one. Alright, that is a wrap on this analysis. What do you think? Has Ratchet piqued your interest, or are you gonna pass on him? For me, seriously considering getting him. He looks great. But, that'll do it for this analysis. Not sure when we'll get our next one, but for now, this looks fantastic. I will see you next time with our next analysis, whenever that is going to be. Till then, later.